If you watched the previous episode, you know how big today's episode is. Three matches coming your way, starting with Valencia. Then we have our second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Bayer Leverkusen after we lost the first leg, two goals to nil. And then we're away to face Barcelona, who sit top of La Liga. And if we look at the point gap right now, it's been increased to six with eight matches to go. Lots of work to do for us today. But hello, everyone. What's going on? Welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. As always, I hope you are all doing fantastic, having an awesome day. And I thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. It's a huge day for us. We could potentially be out of every trophy we are competing for. In this episode, I am hoping that will not be the case, but time will tell. So sit back, relax, and hopefully enjoy what we have in store for you today. Starting with Valencia at the Estadio de la Ceramica. And we are about to jump straight into the first match of the day, wasting no time whatsoever. The two lineups there for you. Defeat here, kiss the title goodbye. Feel like it's already goodbye title. But yeah, if we lose this and Barca win, that's pretty much it. Um, so we'll see. Let's get into this one. And all of you lovely people know the deal by now. 900 likes would be absolutely awesome if we could hit that. So uh, let's set that as today's like target once more. We have ourselves a free kick. Forward to Coates. Now Diop to Avila. Avila looking to pick out the corner. Rossi makes a good save. Three minutes in and we're already testing Valencia defensively. Let's see if we can create from this corner. Diop to take it. Goes deep. It's there to be won. Marcos Andre heads away. Mudrik helps it forward further. Cucurella heads it back forward. But Musiala was on the floor there after challenging for the first header, which is why he wasn't able to get up quickly to win it. Now the ball finds its way towards me. We found the ball to Avila. Avila to Milan. Milan's effort saved by Rossi again. This is a strong start from the boys in yellow. But will there be a goal at the end of this? Another corner then. Swung in by Diop again. We win the flick on. Max away. Musiala. Coates. Musiala. Trigueros. Just trying to create another moment for us. The ball back towards Diop. Diop finding the feet of Musiala. He finds a Villa. Now it's the post that denies us. Milan. Diop. A Villa. Milan is making the move. There's the ball towards him. Milan to finish. He tried to pass it past Rossi. And I don't know what's been given here. It's a free kick the way of Valencia. It was a chance for Milan to find the goal. I don't know what the free kick was for. I feel like if Milan had have scored, it would have resulted in the goal. And unfortunately for us, Rossi's there again. He's having a fine first 20 minutes here. Salamiecas. Lovely ball to Marcus Andre. He finds Mudrik. Mudrik to Andre again. And disaster strikes for Villarreal. The first shot on goal. Finds its way in and really can't stop it. And again, it's for Ariel's defensive frailties that we are seeing. We knew, we knew we had to start strongly. We did that. Rossi's been brilliant. Milan, ball through for Avila. Avila will get there as well and he finds me. The touch out of my feet to try and find the finish and I put it wide. 35 minutes gone. It's looking like it might not be our day. How many times do I finish that off? In other games. And the one time it's got to come true, I've put it wide. Not a good first half for us here. We've had the chances. We've just not taken them. We've just got to remain positive, though. And hope that we can get ourselves back in this and then actually go on to find the winner. Because a point is still not a good result for us in the way that this title race is going. Mudrik, Marcos Andre. And now it's with Baba. Baba's ball to Almeida. Almeida finding the ball forwards. Coates. Back the way of Rudy. A minute to go until half time, in which this first half will see Valencia leading by a goal to nil with Villarreal with it all to do in the second. If they get their second Valencia there, it might well have been the game over. And if you can believe it, Barcelona won. Last Palmas won at half time is the scoreline elsewhere. So as things stand, Barcelona dropping points. But we are behind here, needing a comeback. Calabria, Diop. Now myself, Avila, the Akabi in the way of the challenge. 17 minutes to play. And since Valencia's goal, we've not created anything. It was a great start from us with the flurry of chances that we've had. But since they got their goal, it's been all them. And there has been a goal for Barcelona as well to make it 2-1 in their match. So at this moment in time, Barca have got themselves in front. And we take on Leverkusen next. And this performance is not filling me with confidence whatsoever. 15 to play, corner ball. Salamiecas delivers the upper way. 
It will be won by myself, headed back for Danny Parejo, who will now play it forwards. And Valencia still have bodies behind the ball, even though it's come from a corner for them. Morales, Musiala, now Parejo again. The overlap coming through here from Diop, and there is that pass towards him. Diop can give me it back, can he? Well, he cuts inside to find Parejo. Parejo on the turn. Now Morales. The chance is wasted for the moment, but Morales is trying to keep us on the ball. One chance to put the cross in, another. Diop and Parejo, why are we passing the ball between the two of them? Well, it's worked out. And there's an equaliser with 10 minutes to play. Sometimes there's too many passes. It looked like that's where we were heading again. But in the end, Parejo finds the finish. And it's a lifeline back for Villarreal. We still need another, though. Coates, Musiala, Parejo, Avila have set off. If he can find the pass, Diop will play it forward into my feet. And we are trying to create the space here. And I'm going to play it out wide to this left-hand side where Cucurella is. Forward to Morales. Now to Avila. Avila has found me. What a pick out. And there's the goal that seals it for Villarreal. 2-1. We fight till the very end. And it is the result that we needed. Because Barca's goal meant we had to find the victory. Wow. I didn't skip the uh, celebrations, by the way. For some reason, it does that on occasions. But late drama. 35th goal of the season for us with a minute to go. Two goals inside eight minutes for the home side to turn this game around. I said I wasn't too confident heading into the game against Leverkusen. I'm still not massively confident now with the way we've played. But we've shown we can fight to the end and that is a free kick given the way of Valencia I thought that was the end of the game it's not there's still a minute to play do not give them a goal now to get themselves back in this Parejo wins the header Musiala doesn't get the second ball from Ratchich though now Marcos Andre to Modric we are over the time but there will be one last chance for Valencia Modric and Marcos Andre's effort wide head in hands moment for him because he knows how big a chance that was to get the draw for Valencia but for Villarreal it's a victory that still gives us chance of a title, however slender that chance is. And we now have Bayer Leverkusen. Massive, massive mountain to climb in that one. Full-time result elsewhere. Barcelona did win by two goals to one over Las Palmas. So, as we were, with seven games to go. We won't take a look at the table because we don't need to look at it right now. What we need to focus on is this one here. The Estadio de la Salamica. The stage is set. Leverkusen, we welcome them to Spain. And there are the two lineups. A Villa, not fully fit for this. He starts up front. Ivan Martin starts on the right hand side. Trigueros in midfield. Where's Musiala? Has he picked up a slight injury? I wonder because there was an injury on him in the last game and he has picked up a slight injury. He's out for two days with a bruised elbow. I think he could have played with a bruised elbow, but in any case, Trigueros and Parejo in the midfield. We are missing a key player in Jamal Musiala. And. Everything is set up for us to fail here tonight. Sometimes that's what we need to put in the performance of a lifetime, which is what it's going to take to get through here. And the stage is set for a remarkable Champions League comeback. But we've got to do our part in order to find that. Here is Calabria. Now to Trigueros. Trigueros out wide for Ivan Martin. And he's looked to put the ball backwards. Robertson will block. It is a Villarreal throw. Strong start and an early goal from us. And then this gets very, very interesting. A Villa's ball will not find me. Arnold can take it forward by Leverkusen, who one goal for them. Maybe sinks any hope that we have. A Villa, now Parejo to Ivan Martin. We started the game against Valencia strongly. And we are looking to do the exact same thing here. Ivan Martin looking to lift it into a dangerous area. Oh, what a save by Sanchez. I didn't get as much connection on the ball as I wanted. But... I need to see this again. How has he saved this ball? And is it actually me who gets the final touch? Or is it Marcao? We're about to see. The ball goes across. And we'll see it better here. I am the one who gets the touch with my right boot. And then Sanchez. Left hand. That's an outrageous save. What a piece of goalkeeping from Sanchez. That should have been one nil. It might be here. It is. Coates rises highest. Villarreal. We are not done. 11 minutes in. It's one nil. Set yourselves in your seat. Sit up and watch this one play out. Because we are about to see whether or not we've got it in us to mount the comeback we need to take us to a semi-final of the Champions League. Sanchez heroics moments before. It's Coates who's got us the goal though. And now... 
Can we do this? Ivan Martin finding the ball back for Coates. Cucurella. Coates trying to pick him out. Mafia with a strong challenge. Eight minutes to go until half time. And right now, we are still very much in this. If we can grab our second before the break, then that sets us up for a grandstand second half. But Leverkusen have tried to control the play after going 1 0 down and just get composure and essentially stop us from creating anything. Mafio. Now to Demir Bai. Demir Bai trying to play forwards. Parejo's won it, but the ball ricochets back off of Diop straight to Pablo Mafio. He finds Demir Bai. Demir Bai to Verts. Verts round the corner and Ruli has to make the save. Four minutes left. Don't let them score here. Short corner is on. Demir Bai's gone over and that is the pass towards him. They love a short corner, Leverkusen. This is their third or fourth time they've done it. And Nesri on the turn and it's another good save by Ruli. Seven corners the way of Leverkusen as they finish off the first half strongly. They've all come in this little sequence as well, it feels like. This is their sixth, I think, in a row. Demir Bai looking for a ball into the box. I'm preventing that for now, but he finds Diaby anyway. Edge of the penalty area. Diaby looking to open up the angle. Trigueros blocking. And it's not one back because Arnold hasn't got it. Poado through for Diaby. Ruli quickly out to meet him. Ref, look at the time. It is half time and the scoreline then at the break is Villarreal 1. Leverkusen nil, one goal, and we are right back in this. White, Coates, Trigueros, forward to myself. Now to Ivan Martin, to Avila, Avila to Martin, Martin to Calabria, Calabria to lift it in. There's the header, Goldwoods, Sanchez gets there. Easy catch though. 25 minutes to go, we're still fighting to the very end. And in this one, it is not done. Give us one chance, just one moment to take the chance and then get us level. And Nesri, if they score though, that could be the heartbreaking moment. And Nesri cut out by Coates. Trigueros, Calabria, Martin, Parejo, Parejo to me, to Avila. Avila back for Trigueros. I was trying to find the way through. Trigueros will carry forward here for Villarreal. And if he can pick out the right kind of ball, I'm inside the area. Trigueros with a cross. We're there to win it. It's just wide. Heading is not my strong point, but we nearly make it work. Oh, what a chance. Robertson forward towards Poado. Poado, I'm trying to put him under pressure here and win back the ball quickly for Villarreal. There's the pass to Avila. Avila will send it my way. But we need players in the box. I'm going to have to hold on to this and play backwards. Ivan Martin now towards Avila again. Avila, this is a really good position. Back for Martin. Martin will look to shoot. Will he? No, he chose to pass and then the chance had gone. There's a vital foot in there from Leverkusen who are dropping deeper and deeper as this game has gone on to try and see themselves through to a semi-final of the Champions League and they're five minutes away from doing just that. Daily Blind to Robertson. They've gone forward here and Nesri straight at Ruli. Three minutes remain. The ball has got to go forward for Villarreal. Cucurella, White, Trigueros. Cucurella again. Now Diop. He plays me. I've got a Villa to my right. There's the pass, but Villa can't get it through again. Win it back. We've got to win it straight back. We've got to keep this press on. Do not let them play the ball out. Avila's allowed him to turn. A minute added on and that's going to be it, my friends. We're going to fall short at the final hurdle. Diaby, Marcao. I cannot believe this. Will there be one more moment? No, because the rest blown for full time. <sighs> it's finished by Leverkusen 2, Villarreal 1. Another heartbreaking moment in Europe for us. We got through Roma. They knocked us out of the Europa League last year. We couldn't do it here tonight. Tried our best. Essentially now, let's see what happens with the league until we leave Villarreal at the end of the season. And so that is the end of our journey in Europe for the season. Now, Barcelona. If we win this, we'll be three points behind them. If we lose it, we'll be nine points behind them. And this is the 32nd game of the season. I said previously, they are unbeaten. There's one thing I want to do, even if they go on to win the league, is to end their unbeaten season. And I want to do that right here, right now. So I'll take you into the two lineups. There they are on screen. Lots of fitness issues for Villarreal. Rejo, Musiala, Diop not fully fit. Avila either. Ivan Martin not fit. But the team for Barcelona on the left is good. And they are fully fit and ready for this as their title charge continues. Or will it hit a bump in the road right here? We'll find out. The last time these two faced off, it was a magnificent game, which resulted in a 3-2 win for Barcelona. So expect goals, expect quality, because that's what both teams do have. But Barcelona at the moment, 
are looking to carry on their form and stay unbeaten. Here is the first chance for us to test this defence. Avila will get the ball back to me as well as we're striding forward on goal. It's 1-0. Not going to miss that chance. Four minutes in. Barcelona. That is the opening goal of the game as we somehow go through the net. And that is a big moment in this game. Because now, what will we do? Do we attack? Do we sit back and defend? We have to attack. We know our defence isn't good enough. We've seen it how many times we make mistakes. But it's the opening one of this match. And if we pick up the win, you know what it means. We have six games to go. Three points the gap. It came from a mistake as well from Barca, I realise. Given away in the middle of the park. And then we just broke at speed. A 1-2 with Villa to get us in behind their defence. Tommy Asu's ball forward to Anthony. Now Pellegrini finds Anthony once more. And he can charge down the right-hand side. Look for the cross into the box. Botman's done well. That's a foul ref. Advantage played, but I question where the advantage is here. And in the end, we've done really well to play our way out of defence because... There was no advantage whatsoever. So I feel like the free kick was the better option just to make sure we did not give the ball away. Parejo, what a ball that is. Now Calabria finds the ball to Avila. It's 2-0 Villarreal. Are we seeing the frustrations of the game against Leverkusen come to fruition here and Barcelona are on the receiving end of a performance that is needed for Villarreal to let go of their frustrations? Because this is dominant inside the first 10 minutes. And Avila's finish... Gives Ter Stegen no chance. And Barcelona are in real danger here of losing their first match of the season. Pau Torres with a free kick. Sent forward. Abraham wins the header. Now Pedri down for Illich. Pellegrini looking for the run of Anthony. It's cut out well, but then it's given away. Anthony will get onto the loose ball. Now Ansu Fati for Barcelona. Anthony shot blocked by Botman. Headed forward. A Villa challenging. Illich has it. Free kick to Barcelona for handball. Which Ansu Fati stands over quite a distance away from goal. But he looks like he wants to take it on. And he does. And he forces a save from Ruli. Good work from Avila to block the pass. Now Diop finds Parejo. Parejo with the ball at his feet. Looking for Musiala. That's a great ball through. Can even Martin get there first? No, but to Stegen has to be. Calm on the ball as he finds the pass out to Ansu Fati. And to be honest, I did not expect this to have been so calm and composed the game for us. It's been... A dream first half, really. Barcelona not really got going. Anthony here. Are we about to rue those words? Because Tammy Abraham's in and he has scored the goal that's given Barca away way back into the game. Five minutes before the break. And that's the finish that Barcelona can come up with. Tammy Abraham scores. And as I said, up until this point, it's been pretty routine for us. Got to remain concentrated to see this game out. Botman, ball forwards, round the corner here for Diop. Nice play from Villarreal with a minute to go until half-time. Are we about to try and get our two-goal advantage back? Musiala, lovely ball! And it's in the top corner! It's 3-1 Villarreal! And that's how quickly we can make you pay! And that is two-goal advantage back in our favour. What a finish this is, by the way. Where was this against Leverkusen, though? You know what I'm saying? Just didn't get the moments. Top corner... And that will do us for the first half. 3-1. Up at the break. No chance to stay and stops this. Pedri. Abraham. Pedri again. Left side. Ball into the box. is on. He goes to carry it all the way though. Nearly gets a shot. In the back of the net. But for Ruli to make the save. Nobody closed him down. It was almost like we were waiting for the ball across. That never came. Because we gave him the space to take the shot on instead. Now Ansu Fati. Second half. Has just begun. And are we about to see Barcelona get another way back into it? Well, the answer is not there because we now have it with Parejo. He finds a Villa. The Villa's given it away, though. And now here is Abraham. Space for Anthony. Lots of space for Anthony, in fact. And he will look with the outside of his left boot to find the finish. For me, he should have gone with the right foot. Now the corner. Pellegrini in. Morales underneath the first header. We are underneath the second. It's bounced off Pedri and gone backwards. He'll play the ball to Pau Torres, who will find Wellington Dano. And now Pellegrini. Space for him to work with, but no shots. Anthony now found. Back to Pellegrini. Through to Abraham. And he picks out the top corner with ease. Tammy Abraham again is on hand to give Barca a lifeline. He's the player we've got to watch out for. We keep letting him find these this bits of space. Where on earth Ben White's going there? I don't know. Let Cucurella do that job. Because you just leave 
Abraham completely free for him to pick out the back of the net. Like he's so good at doing. 3-2. Abraham's ball through for Ann Torres, who's just come off the bench here. First introduction to the game is to play it across. And I can't tell whether or not Calabria's deflection was saved by Ruli or if it came back off the post. It's a Barcelona corner anyway. 24 minutes left. Overhead kick. Oh, for Ann Torres. What an introduction. Barcelona 3, Villarreal 3. And it is the goal of the game from Ferran Torres. This is spectacular from the substitute. Honestly, yes, you could argue defensively Villarreal. Shocking. But the quality on that from Ferran Torres is well worthy of drawing level. 18 minutes to go. Anthony, Pellegrini, Barcelona feeling themselves. Anthony now then. Edge of the penalty area, across to Pellegrini. Pellegrini, dangerous area. Calabria gets his head to the ball. There's Illic, just wide. Powerful header, nearly finds the bottom corner. And this is what champions do. They don't just sit back at 2-0 down and accept defeat. They fight back, it's 3-all. And we honestly look like we're out of ideas a little bit here on how to deal with Barcelona. I think we've had three shots, scored all three of those. So in terms of creating chances, we've not really done it great in that regard. We've just taken the ones that have fallen our way. Pau Torres out to the left-hand side. Wellington Dano controlling. Now for Ann Torres, finding the feet of Abraham. Abraham back to Torres. His pass to Pellegrini. We should have been on that. It wasn't a great ball. Just didn't react to it. Now Pedri to Abraham again, who's dropping so deep to get on it. But when he does, he's making things happen. Illich with a strike. White in the way. Abraham, rebound! And Rooney has just denied Sammy Abraham the hat-trick. And denied them the goal, which would have won them the game. Two changes coming through for Barcelona now. You can see two shots for me, five for Abraham. The two shots I've had have been in goals. Fran Torres, short corner. He's found the ball back to Anthony. Now Muller. Anthony again. Muller. Torres. Minute and a half to play plus injury time. Steal the ball back now. Get forward. Maybe, just maybe, we can steal the victory. Pellegrini's effort. Beaten away by Rudy. Now Cucurella. Trying to go long. He doesn't need to force it. There's passes on to play. Why are you trying to force that ball? I don't know. Two minutes added on by the referee. Diop's ball forward to my feet. Here now as we turn back. Find the pass to Parejo. Parejo quick one two to get us back on it. Now Morales. He's giving it away but he's won it straight back. Calabria. Can he whip the ball in here? Calabria's ball is decent. The header's there. I don't know how it's not a goal. Goalkeepers need to stop saving. That's what they're paid to do, but they just need to stop. Why do they do that? Other than the fact that that's their job. That should have been four. Ah, just, oh, man. Pareo's corner. Will it be four here? Morales header. Stegen holds it. It's just a point picked up, but that's not going to be enough. Because we stay six behind Barcelona then. With six points or six games to go, sorry. To Stegen, late heroics. Well, we tried our best. I mean, look at the match facts. Dominance from Barca, really, wasn't it? So, I don't know what's going to happen in the remainder of this season. But there's six games to go. And we are 20... Well, we are 12 away from breaking the record for most goals in a season with six games to go. But Barcelona remain unbeaten at the top of the table. And it looks like they will go on to lift the title. But for... A major slip-up from them. Regardless, I do hope you've enjoyed the episode, even though we were not able to advance in the Champions League. And even though we weren't able to make it happen and get the points back against Barcelona. I'm not sure where we'll be going, but we will be leaving the club at the end of the year. I don't like the fact they've sold some key players. And I just feel like a change of scenery will do us good. And hopefully allow us to win a trophy because we are still trophyless. Even though, as a player, we have been spectacular in terms of performances, we haven't won anything yet. So, yeah, I want to try and change that. Until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Much love to you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Look after each other, and I will see you all again for the next episode very, very soon. Until then, adios.